Good morning, guys. So, I have all my stuff together. My mom is probably going to be here in like less than five minutes um, to uh, take me home, which we're going to Whole Foods. She needs something. I don't know what she needs. So, we're going there, and then um, we are going home. I'm going to take care of my grandma tomorrow. I have homework I need to do today. So, yeah, I'm going to take care of her tomorrow. I was going to see my friend Chris today, but I don't want to cut it short like I did last week. Granted, my grades ended up being good, but, like, I don't want to cut it short like last week. Like, I'm okay with saving it for the last day. I don't feel like I'm cutting it short by doing that. It's just that I cut it short, like, within the hours before it being due. So, I just don't want to do that again, so I want to be able to get that done. So, I think I'll, I'll do both tomorrow, as long as I'm feeling up to it. Um, and, um, I think I have everything with me. Um, I'm gonna get my mom to go to Dante with me. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we went to Whole Foods. I'm gonna try to go back into that diet that I was on, um, a while ago. So I'm just getting a few things to see if my stomach tolerates it. And so I can maybe be doing a little bit better uh, weight wise so I just got some like organic um, like healthier cereals and stuff like that even though I only have um, I have cereals dry I don't use milk um, I got some coconut waters my mom got um, fire roasted tomatoes uh, this tomatoes my mom makes like a chicken like a chicken thing that has, uh, yeah, it's like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it has tomatoes in it, and like, the juice is really good. And, um, there's the chicken chicken, and then we got, um, avocados, which need to be sitting out for a while. We got some tomatoes. More coconut water over here. Uh, my mom got this because her and my sister really like it. It's maple flavored almond butter. It's pretty good. And then we got um, like blueberries, even though they were a bit expensive, and apples, although I don't eat apples, they hurt my stomach. And we got this for my sister. Honestly, I'm good. So I'm going to put everything away. Um, I'm going to edit my. Um, I'm going to edit my video, my, uh, yeah, my video from yesterday, then do my schoolwork, and then when I'm done with that, I'm going to start working on editing, um, other videos that I have recorded, but haven't put up yet, so, I'm seeing my baby for the first time in a few days, she's already at the door, hi, oh, what a cute little meow you have, come here, baby, I missed you. I missed you, girl. You're such a sweet girl. Oh, and for anybody, because I've seen a few t uh, comments from people, um, we are still working on my dad um, being okay with letting her in. And really, if you think about it, like we're already buying her cat food, and like having her in the house is not really going to make that much of a difference, like price wise. Like, you know, it's and she's tiny, and her and Rosie would probably get along. So, like, what's up? So, it, there isn't really a reason that my dad doesn't want her in the house, but um, we're working on it, and uh, my mom's gonna take her to to make sure that she doesn't have any things going on, like illnesses, make sure she gets some um, shots and stuff like that to keep her healthy, but we don't even really think that she, um, she really leaves like kind like this backyard area and the kind of where the houses that are behind us are I don't think she really leaves it at all we've never seen her not in the backyard um she like sleeps and stays under my shed right over there on the right side and if you call her name she immediately like comes up and will like come check on whoever you know called her name so she's safe um so we're hoping that at some point he'll let her in but she is safe which is really really good so I'm gonna go see her for a few minutes
and I will talk to you guys soon. Come on. Say bye to everybody. Oh, look at that face, guys. Oh. Hey guys, so I finished the intro. I'm just doing like the final touches on the outro. Um, and so that will be up with the vlog from yesterday and the one from today. Um, and I'm going to then like shower because I think I'm having my, my dressing changed today and I want to be showered before it so I don't have to worry about showering right after. I don't know where the phone is. Okay, I don't know what that is. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I also saw a few comments and I was like embarrassed with myself about this and then I caught myself and realized what I was being embarrassed about was wrong. You know, I shouldn't have been embarrassed, but I've seen a couple um, posts, or not posts, comments that people have made and, you know, have basically said like, um, just acknowledging the fact that I'm going through a de depressive episode and when I first read that stuff I wasn't mad I was mad at myself I was like oh my gosh you know am I coming off being really like bitter and angry right now even though I do feel like pretty bitter and angry um, I was like you know am I showing am I showing weakness or whatever to other people and um, and then I was like oh I need to cover up the fact that I'm not doing well a little bit more but I, like, I stopped and thought about it and was like, what am I saying? Like, this is, this is what's going on, you know? And even if I didn't have a gazillion things going on right now, a lot of like really stressful things going on, it's still okay to just be depressed. Um, especially if um, you're not in control of your, your situation, your surroundings, and you know how you feel on a daily basis. Um, and it's, it's normal to, to suffer from depression and have no real reason. I mean, there's a reason for it. Um, you know, there's a reason for everything. And I just wanted to say basically that like, if you're dealing with mental health problems, no matter what your background is, it's okay to not be happy. Or it's okay to not um, be bitter. Or, you know, it's okay. You know, th that's basically what I want to say is that I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that um, that I, I clearly am in a bad episode right now, but it's okay that I'm being open about it. And for anybody that's going through it too, it's okay. You know, what you're going through is valid. So I'm gonna finish up this um, outro. Um, it's just a really minor thing I have to fix and I keep messing it up. And then I'm gonna go shower and then I have to write the three essay questions and then do some discussion board things, but I did one of the big dis discussion um, board things yesterday and I'm done with all of the tests for the entire class for the semester and I got 100 on all of them so um, everything's due at midnight but I already I mean I already did the test and one of the discussion board posts which took me like 20 minutes so I'm, I'm going at a good pace I just really didn't want to end up like last week because that was embarrassing I was so embarrassed with myself Hey guys, um, it's just about 11 o'clock at night. I um, I am working on my homework still, and I'm actually like almost done with the three essays, and that's the worst part. And like I said before, I already did one of the discussion board posts, so I have to do just another one that will take like 15 minutes for me to do, and then I just have to comment on two other people's posts. This is totally attainable in the next hour. Um, I mean, I'm gonna be done with this essay question really, really soon, um, but. Just wanted to say hi, and I got my dressing changed, but we messed up um, on the dressing that comes in the dressing change kit. So now I have this like really obnoxious um, dressing on top. I kind of like this this dressing, but it's also like very like in your face. Like look at my pick line. Like at least with the other one, it's clear. And you can notice less of it. This is very in your face. But enjoy what you gotta do. I like the way that this sticks on. Um, it's just that I don't like that it's like this massive thing and it's, it draws a lot of attention. Um, so right now I'm just doing a question on, um, basically like the similarities and differences of Hinduism and Buddhism, um, and how Buddhism came out of Hinduism and how it changed and all that stuff. And I, I think I'm almost done, so...
hopefully when I see you guys next, um, I'll be done with all this before midnight. All right, three essays. Save and submit. That took a long time. And now I just have to do discussion board stuff. Yay, I am all done. Um, oops. I'm all done. I'm um, getting off all of this. And I am going, I was listening to Billy Joel. And ignore this background. I need to change it. <laughs> um, I am going to do the vlog from yesterday and get that up. And I have my new intro and outro with it, which is gonna be awesome, so. Looking forward to it, and um, I probably should head up now. Yeah, probably should head up. <laughs> Alright, it is just about midnight. I am hooked up and going for the night. I brought some um, frozen mango up because that settles well with my stomach and tastes amazing. And I'm just going to do some stretching. Um, maybe I should do a video on like yoga and what works best for my body and my pain, but I also don't want people to watch it and be like, you know, that stuff hurts me, or I don't want people to watch it and see me do something and think, oh, that's a great idea, and then hurt themselves, especially um, people who have joint problems, so. I can maybe show, like, my stretching routine. That would probably be good. Maybe I can do that tomorrow. That might actually be a good idea. Um, but at the same time, I'm a little worried about doing that because um, I wouldn't want you know, people to follow what I'm doing if it might hurt them. But maybe I can do that. I might do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna um, lay down and I, I usually stretch for like 45 minutes before bed. Um, it helps with pain a lot, so that is what I'm going to do. I really don't understand. I feel like a little bit dizzy. I'm obviously on fluids. I told you guys that. Um, so I took my blood pressure um, and it just showed that I was 79 over 55. So I'm checking it again. Because that's really low. Well, actually, no, it, it's kind of low. The diastolic, I guess, is super low. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I'm a bit weird. I don't know. I feel like a little dizzy, but not enough for it to be that low. <laughs>